Hi, this is Neil from National Instruments Oceana. In this video, I'll be showing you how we have used National Instruments products such as Compact Rio, Vision, and LabVIEW to create a robotics project. Robotic vehicles have been used for various purposes such as rescue, mining, reconnaissance, military, etc. in places where people cannot go. Such robotic vehicles, although they are autonomous, they require some sort of manual control using a joystick or a remote controller. It will be very useful if instead of using the joystick or the remote controller, we can provide hand gestures to control the robotic vehicle. The robotic vehicle then recognizes the hand gestures and then moves in that direction accordingly. In this project, we have integrated a camera which recognizes the hand gestures from this glove, converts it into a coordinate and then moves the robotic vehicle accordingly. So let me show you how we have done this. The setup that we have used is as follows. We have a glove with three different color tape to classify each finger. The glove can be worn and then the gestures can be placed on this green surface inside the border. The arrows denote the direction in which the robotic vehicle can be moved. The hand gestures are captured by this fire wire camera as we can see on the stand. The image is captured and transmitted to the CVS or Compact Vision System block which is a product of National Instruments. This Compact Vision System captures information in real time and transmits it through Ethernet to the computer. We have used a TCP IP protocol here to communicate between the computer and the CVS block. The computer then does the processing and then transmits information into the robotic vehicle. The robotic vehicle that we have used is called Skipomatic. Skipomatic has its own controller which we have used here is Compact Rio 9024. The 9024 controller has its own module to control the robotic vehicle and get some information from the feedback sensors. The computer communicates to this Skipomatic through the wireless router as we can see here. The wireless router acquires information and then transmits it to the Compact Rio which then does the real-time processing and controls the vehicle. So this is an overview of our system and I'm going to show you a demonstration of how, of how it actually works. So now I'll be showing you a demonstration on how it works. So before I jump into it, I would like to show you the gestures that I'll be using. So I've put the gloves on and I'll be using the first two fingers to control my car. So I've got two gestures which I'll be using. The closed finger gesture and the open finger gesture. The closed finger gesture means the car should move in any direction which I specify on the board. As soon as I release my fingers, that means the car should stop immediately. So if I close my fingers and then place on the board, depending on which direction I place my fingers, the car should move in that direction. So if I want to move in forward direction, I should close my fingers and move in the forward arrow. So that means the car starts moving in the forward direction. If I want to move in the forward right direction, I just move my fingers into that box. That means the car should starts moving in the forward right direction. As soon as I release my fingers, the car will stop moving, regardless of wherever the car is. The middle position means it's in idle position. So even if I open or close my fingers, that means the car will not move. It will be just staying in the constant uh, normal position. So now I'll show you uh, how it actually works with the car. So I have my fingers in middle, that means the car is not moving and I'll switch to gestures mode now. So as soon as I switch to gestures mode, if I put my fingers in the forward direction, see my fingers are not closed now, that means the car will not move. So as soon as I close my fingers, the car will start moving in forward direction and as soon as I release it, the car will stop. If I want to move backwards, I just put my fingers in the backward arrow and then close my fingers together and the car starts moving backwards and as soon as I release it, it will stop. So now I, if I want to move my car in any direction, I can do that again with my uh, gloves and my gestures in any, any direction, directional arrows and the car starts moving. So for example, if I want to move in the forward right direction, I can just do that and it will move in that direction. I can also reverse and then intuitively move in any direction I want. So here I've demonstrated how I use to convert my gloves into coordinates and then control my car. 